We've been talking within our community and of course this is just brainstorming ideas to help our clients have an event. Hi, I'm John from PGP Weddings and welcome to Say Yes to the Best where we talk to the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning advice. Subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We have new content out for you all the time to help you with your wedding planning. Today, I'm with Ray Wilson of Open Air Affairs. Uh, they manage a lot of venues in the Philadelphia and Bucks County areas, including Tyler Gardens, Historic Strawberry Mansion, Ash Mill Farms, and many more. Hi, Ray. How are you? Good. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, I really wanted to get you on the show again was with all of the COVID-19 stuff, uh, I'm in Delaware, you're in Pennsylvania, but I serve Pennsylvania, and I know both states are kind of moving more towards allowing different levels of people to get together with social distancing. Uh, and the thing that kind of jumped out to me was when I saw, you know, groups of 250 people are potentially allowed, but only in outdoor spaces. When I think of outdoor wedding spaces, I think of all of your venues because one, they're beautiful, but you have amazing tents. So uh, I wanted to get you on to kind of maybe talk through some options for couples if their wedding is coming up this year. Obviously, things change daily. Uh, so this is, you know, things can change. But I wanted to hear is kind of what you guys are planning on doing as you open up your venues and start having events again. Yeah, so as soon as we're allowed to, as soon as we get into a green phase and everything's been cleared, we are an outdoor venue company for the most part. So we have all these tented venues that have been deep cleaned, that are ready. They can be all open with all of their sidewalls. So all of your guests aren't contained in like a country country club or, you know, a fire hall or anything like that. So it's really great for us as a company to have that availability for our clients and brides to have um, a tent outside in a beautiful setting. Um, a couple of things that we are, you know, going to be doing is, uh, of course, cleaning all of our venues before and after every single event, thinking of putting hand sanitizer stations in all of our tented facilities, maybe minimizing table counts of, you know, from eight to six, you know, adding vendors to that total count when we get a total count from the CDC and Governor Wolf and, um, you know, Deciding on mask regulations, no dance floor, all when that becomes an event and when the timeline comes around. As far as food service goes, um, what are some things that, I know that's not necessarily what you guys are doing, but what are some of the things you've been hearing uh, that are going to change when events kind of start back up? Yeah, so we've been talking within our community, and of course this is just brainstorming ideas to help our clients have an event still. You know, maybe you move from a bar to just bottle service for all of those people. You know, no self-serve buffets, doing a sit-down dinner instead, or maybe, you know, a seated takeout platform. So you know how your people are doing like curbside right now. You know, you go up, you grab your bag, and you leave, maybe doing something like that for our clients. Um, you know, nothing set in stone, but it's a couple things that we've been discussing with our vendors, you know, to make all of these events a little bit safer for everyone. What have been some of the concerns that couples at your venues have been talking about and uh, kind of the, the biggest pain points as people have been trying to figure out what to do with their weddings? A lot of it has been, you know, the grandparents and their out of state guests, um, you know, because they can't cross state lines or they can't get into the country. We actually had a bride um, in August call us that she's actually, she lives in Japan and she can't come over because Japan won't actually let her leave. So her date, you know, it was like after her date was already due that she was allowed to leave. So a lot of our clients are being, you know, not everyone can get there. So we have to allow them to move their date to allow their guest count to come. So that's been our biggest thing. Everything else, you know, people understand that during this unprecedented time that we're going to have to do something and move dates and make sure everyone is safe before we throw up 250 people in an area.
What has the process been like uh, for you guys at Open Air Affairs as far as moving dates and trying to accommodate everybody? So we've been doing a 60-day check-in kind of thing, um, just so we're in line with everyone that has their date coming up. You know, our May and June brides needed to figure out where they were going to move to before our October, November brides. So we've been doing a check-in with everyone about 90 days out, asking what their thoughts are, seeing what dates that they really want, and then 60 days really moving their date to their plan B um, at that point because you need 60 days to either plan your event or move your date. You have to get all your vendors on board. So we've been doing that, but also our brides have been coming to us, picking a date, putting a soft hold to make sure all of their other vendors can make that date. Um, everyone's been really cool with it so far. We haven't gotten any bad feedback on that, but we understand that that's a need that our clients need right now. Have there been a lot of people moving to, I guess, less traditional wedding dates, more weekdays, Sundays, stuff like that? We've only gotten a few. Um, a lot of people from the spring moved to the fall and now they're going to have to move again. So Mm -hmm. those are the people that were like, okay, we need to move you now. Um, I've only gotten one Thursday date because they really wanted their photographer and their photographers booked up for 2021. Um, and some Sundays, we definitely got some Sundays booked for at least Tyler. Um, we have like full weekends. How many of your couples are, have moved, uh, just to a later point in 2020 versus moving into 2021? A lot of our early April, May brides moved to the fall thinking this will clear up this will be fine june is gonna be you know the kicker and everything's gonna be cleared by then but all those brides that have already moved their date are the ones that are most concerned because now they're gonna have to move a third time so what would you what advice would you give to maybe someone who is both considering moving their date, uh, as well as maybe 2021 couples who are now competing for dates that they really want and vendors that they really want with a whole year's worth of brides that they weren't expecting. Um, It's been, everyone's been really cool about it right now. So we really haven't had that problem. Um, We have a lot of venues. So even if one venue is fully booked, we can offer them a different venue. Um, you know, we're not charging extra money to move your day. We're not charging you extra money to move your venue. Um, it's, it's become, everyone's okay with it because they understand what's happening. Um, I haven't any, had any bad apples saying, you know, we need this date or anything like that. They, they, everyone pretty much gets it right now. So one thing that I've seen a lot of, uh, especially with 2020 couples who potentially have to move is, Um, maybe doing a smaller wedding either in place of a bigger event or in anticipation of a a bigger event. Like say you were going to get married this June and you want to still have that be your anniversary and you still want to do something. Uh, Do you guys do any sort of smaller micro wedding packages? Yeah, we always, you know, um, right now we just want to reiterate like love is not canceled, even though that your wedding may have to move or something happens. Love is not canceled, so, you know, whatever we can do for you, just let us know. Um, We started a micro-event package with Mara Rose Florals and Forever Love Events. Um, In the light of COVID-19, we know people that are trying to scale back their wedding to be able to get married on their wedding date in the yellow phase or the green phase, so we're offering petite rental packages for their backyard wedding, Um, you know, getting a small tent, maybe some tables and chairs, depending on what they need, we can definitely um, make that happen for booked or newly booked clients. Um, And it's all on marrosflorals.com. So in addition to open air affairs, I know you guys are closely related with Newtown Party Rental. And you guys have also been providing your tents for businesses to kind of help with different things as they're dealing with COVID. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we've been, um, we're very uh, prominent in our community. So we uh, definitely put the word out that if you need help with your drive-thrus or curbside pickup, you know, we have the tents to facilitate those. So Chick-fil-A is one of our biggest uh, customers right now. We've been actually erecting these tents to put over their drive-thrus. So they're employees can come and sit underneath the tent you can drive in 
order everything and pick up your food right there without having to deal with all the weather elements. Um, as soon as we go into the green phase, you know, we have a couple of restaurants and stuff that have reached out to us that wanted to um, get big tents for outdoor seating since they're not going to be able to be inside. So Texas Roadhouse actually contacted us to do a bigger tent in their parking lot so they can have everyone hang outside, which is actually pretty cool of them. Um, Amazon has reached out to us. We are doing all of their low top tables for their lunches so they can do a social distance lunch. So they got like 60 tables from us to sit around um, so everyone's not congregating in one area. So that's just a couple of examples that we've been doing for uh, the community on the tent side. Um, Masks for America, we actually got to use our trucks to help deliver masks to New York when the whole pandemic was happening. We actually did uh, donate our trucks for that and they got uh, four, over 14,000 masks in that delivery from us. So that's pretty amazing as well. So say there's a couple, they you know have a venue that normally is an indoor um, venue, but they wanna have a tent, they still wanna have their wedding at their location. Is there any way that you guys would be able to help a couple that still wants to, to make that work with, with a tent? Yeah, definitely. Um, we can actually build an entire venue outside for other, for other venues. Um, so if you are getting married in an indoor facility that doesn't have, you know, a tent for outside, but they have an outdoor space, we can literally build a venue from the ground up for them, flooring, tenting, roofing, lighting, fans or heaters, all that kind of stuff for any venue. Um, so that is an option that we're offering to any venues that need it once we go into the green so they can still, you know, comply with the green phase and have their clients be happy that they get their their day that's amazing yeah anything i think you, you were kind of saying that everybody understands the kind of that this is an unprecedented situation and i think the best thing that i've seen the the only silver not the only silver lining but one of the few silver linings is in the wedding world seeing people kind of come together and try to help each other out and, and make things worth both couples and vendors. Uh, so I think a lot of the stuff you guys are doing is really, really awesome. Yeah, we're, we're happy with everything that we're doing right now. But if, you know, anyone has any suggestions or the community needs something a little bit more, you know, I'm always open for, you know, discussion. Perfect. Well, Ray, thank you so much for being back on the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching Say Yes to the Best. Again, if you want more wedding planning tips, uh, subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We have new content out every week for you to help with wedding planning. Again, this is Ray from Open Air Affairs and Newtown Party Rental. All of their information is gonna be below. Thanks again and happy planning. Yeah.